Uh, hello everybody, welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, today we're in um, Jackson, Wyoming, and we're heading to the ranch in Cody with a load of soil. And uh, maybe the missus is going to put in a big garden, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, we got the, um, uh, oh, what do they call the, uh, oh, leg legendary or custom mods, ATS custom classics, that's it, ATS, sorry, Corey, <laughs> ATS custom classics, Mac cruise liner here. And this is uh, just out and uh, we've got an old school skid on it that I should be able to get up on steam pretty soon. It's just a few small things to do. It's got angry eyes, like <laughs> looks like an angry bird with the way the uh, lower stripe goes across the uh, headlight there. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that look like an angry bird? Um, yeah, let's get rolling here. Got a Mac NDT in here, of course, and the uh, Pister, uh, which one is this? The Timpty. Now, let's see which way we go out of here. It wants us to go around the yard, I guess. Oh, still got a parking brake going here. So, I put the newer dash in it, which is an option you can do. Uh, there's a whole bunch of cab options for this truck. Um, some extended higher roofs with uh, upper bunk and uh, different lengths, different vintages. Uh, and the different vintages, of course, have a different grill width, much like the uh, uh, GMC Astro, the way they did that. But uh, once again, I didn't get a chance. I just had a crazy day. I didn't get a chance to look at my tablet here. So I got hours and miles over here. I got metric over here, so. I'll just have to weigh it. It says it's 44,000 kilogram load, which would be crazy, because that 44,000 kilograms. Oh, he's gonna come to a stop, okay. Because a kilogram is 2.2 pounds, so that would be like 90,000 pounds. Let's see if this pulls like 90,000 pounds. Well, we're not exactly getting up and running away with it, but. It's not too bad. Really wants to coast. Uh, of course, I've got one of my uh, modified Zmod engines in here. Let's have a look at the truck. Yeah, it's a good looking mod, like for sure. I, I really like it. I think it's awesome. You can see driving this a little bit. Um, lots of paint jobs I can put on it from my other cab overs that I've done, so. You got things like the, uh, you know, the mulligan skin always looks good on a cab over and uh, oh, there's Alberta Heavy Haul, there's uh, uh, New Old School, uh, oh, uh, the Black Swan skin might really go on this one. Of course, we've got the Lost Arroyo Ranch, and I haven't tried making a Hell Creek uh, a skin for... Uh, any of the cab overs yet, so that something worth looking at. Can't 
quite see what the frame rates are. Uh, 120. It's okay. So, um, I redirected us through the... Oh, hang on there, buddy. Uh, through the park. So we're going to go through uh, Yellowstone like we're not supposed to, so we'll get in trouble for it, but hey. That's my middle name. So this trailer, this uh, Tim, um, Tim T, uh, Super, it's called Super Hopper. Um, it, it's going to be as part of a Tim, or, um, a Pister trailer pack. Uh, I guess I'm announcing it here in the video. I got to put it up on my Discord too. It'll be the next giveaway for January. So the photo contest for January is going to be. Uh, I haven't decided. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make the uh, ground rules. I kind of like the free-for-all photograph thing, but maybe we'll make it um, a themed one, like uh, anything to do with agriculture, for example, because they are. Uh, let's say agriculture and forestry. Yeah, that's what I'll do, and then it'll be once again. Best photos is voted on by uh, your peers. One photo a day in the contest. Or, I mean, you don't have to put one a day, but you can't put more. And, uh, yeah, have at her. So, the other, the Wilson Commander is part of the uh, trailer pack. If I'm not mistaken, there might be a Manac, Manac logging trailer. I have to get the details on that to be clear. But anyway, it'll all, all be in the uh, Discord today. We, after you see this, maybe have a look. Or if you see this real early, <laughs> give me a little time. It's pretty heavy, all right. We uh, haven't made 50 miles an hour yet. Oh, come on, turn off. There it goes. Yeah, that button is getting flaky. I might have to uh, buy some better buttons, I guess. Like I say, I got that uh, a whole bag of them off Amazon, and they don't seem to be too good. I've given up on this one, the trailer drop axle. I moved it here. And this one I've already changed out two or three times, maybe twice. So, not good. I've got to get a higher quality button. It'd be nice if the Jake was a little more reliable.
ready for my rant about not being able to get a permit to go through the park. <laughs> you know, that's coming up. It's got rear steer on the trailer, you can see in the mirror. Oh, just sort of make it out. When we take a tighter corner, I'll uh, make sure and show you. So, well, the good thing about taking a shortcut through the park is, oh, well, that guy's going around that way. could decide to go on if you got a fairly fairly wide load. Oh, it's prohibited. Unless you have official business here, you have to... Oh, look at that, we got official business. Isn't that awesome? Let's see if we get a fine. I don't know if in this particular profile I have fines turned on or not. Well, that's really good. They should charge you for a park fee or uh, whatever it was. Generally, you used to have to pay to go in the ones. Oh, we got a, a fine. Curses. So that's not so good. I didn't even get to explain my official business. Dang it. pretty up here though. Oh, uh, one of the viewers made a good comment uh, the other day, uh, I guess the last time we were, we went to, no, we left Cody for Powder River in the last one. Or was that a different video? Two videos ago. Two ATS videos ago. We left uh, uh, the ranch in Cody and I was commenting, what the heck is with all the campers? <laughs> One of the viewers astutely said uh, in a comment that, um, well, it's you're right next door to Yellowstone Park. Of course there's campers. Boy, look at that, eh? Wow. Beautiful. That's so good looking out there. Wow. I wonder if I get a shot breaking the trees here. I'm going to actually pause the video for a sec, guys. Whoops. Right here. Well, that didn't work. I was hoping to be able to get a glimpse of the lake and a photo, but I waited too long and we were past it. So we're going to have to uh, get our photo some other way. The old fashioned. Yeah, whoops. That's a little bit of a rush job. There may be, there'll be something more scenic ahead, maybe. take this way this time. But again, we're not going to get a second fine, are we? We entered the park and then we entered the park? I didn't really see where we got a chance to leave it. Okay, gonna... He's not going to yield, is he? Wow, three thousand dollars in fines. I'll turn fines off next time I'm gonna pull this stunt. Mm. 
West um, Geyser Basin. Yeah, and Barb and I went through here. We went and saw uh, Old Faithful and cruised around. Like, you know, walked around the whole thing. is pretty neat. Oh, there we go there. Look at that. Oh, here. Now there's... Okay, I'm going to pause for some. Okay, well, hopefully that uh, should be a pretty good photo. Or three. <laughs> Sorry about the interruption there, folks. Now, dash map. Let's, yeah. Let's zoom that out a little bit. There's... Uh, Fairly sharp turns on this road coming up. Man, I wouldn't be standing out there. I'd have you heard my story uh, from when Barbara and I went through here at the Buffalo. Yeah, it was, uh, I definitely wouldn't be standing outside a car within a mile of one of those. We were in the car and they almost got us. Yeah, they're pretty uh, ornery critters. Everything's a threat in their, in their view. Man, look at that view. It's just awesome. Take a photo anyway. Even though I already got a good one. Yeah. Act like a tourist when you're in a tourist zone. Why not? like an after effects of a fire. You're seeing a lot of that up here when we head west into the mountains. The forest fires, you know, it's getting hotter and hotter and every year there's seems more and more. I don't think there's ever been a year where there wasn't any. <laughs> But they just more numerous and covering more area and drive through this all the time. What's weird is they've got it pretty right. Like with the, uh, it doesn't take the branches off the trees. By the time it runs out of energy in the local, like it's like a flash fire. And what it does, I guess, it gets everything so hot in the area that anything that'll burn is the heat turns it into a gas and it flashes off and it's done and the flame front isn't that long and it just moves on and leaves quite a bit of the tree standing it's kind of amazing really all the needles are gone of course oh that was close just gonna keep an eye on that trailer tighter tighter than the other one and got this handy stone wall on the right but I think we're okay oh yeah no danger to the public Should be driving from outside so we can see more but I guess we missed all the scenic stuff 
get a look at the trailer though. Maybe that's a good idea. Oh, another park gate. Trailer's pretty cool. Oh. It's got that big uh that big arm open you can drive with the uh, top open if you want you can change the, the top can be paint color or black looks like it's got something on it remember when we went into uh, Yellowstone Park there was a lot of construction on the road. We would have come from this direction, the opposite direction here is the way we would have went in because we came through Cody. And um, there was construction on the road up ahead here somewhere. And man, there was a lot of, you know, they were doing that thing where they stopped traffic and let some go and then stop it and go the other way, probably with a, a pilot car that would lead the next group on and then turn around and bring the other guys back. It took a little while to get into the park. And of course, we left the way we came in this time, and uh, there was no issue. We were out of there. And off we went. there. I think the ranch is, that could be it up, uh, oh left right here, yeah, that was it. Oh I forgot to get a shot of those uh, high trailer uh, wheels st steering, do that on the way out of here. Or the, the right hand corner coming up. But the uh, lot of exhaust options. Uh, man, I was running out of time to get this thing built and get a video going. So I um, kind of rushed it. You got to fiddle around for a while to get the air breather inside of the exhaust and the exhaust on the outside. Because by default, it wants the air cleaner spit stack on the outside of the pipe and the pipe's in narrower oh, oh excuse me let's have a look at these rear this rear steer on this thing that yeah, wasn't a very sharp corner but they steer Our uh, parking's already laid out for us on the ground there. Well, I'm going to cut across this grass here because I don't want to be backing up for five hours. Oh! Got a dog there. <laughs> on the trail of something good. There is that trailer missing its wheels again. There they go. Bang. It's magic. I didn't need to do that as tight as I did.
Well, there we have it. The uh, ATS. What is it again? <laughs> it's the classics. Oh crap! Sorry, Corey. I'll put a uh, description and a link to the mod in the uh, ATS classic. Oh man, legends or something? Not legends. Darn it, legend? No, I had it before. I said it at the beginning. Dang it. Oh. Okay, brakes are all on. Get the lights off. And this button. So we only went 266 kilometers. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's not very many miles. That turns out to be good pay. Because the route it wanted us to take here, I'll quickly show you on the map. Uh, so we came from Jackson, and it wanted us to go down here, up through here and over. And it was like three times longer it seemed it was really long distance but uh that was it worked out so yeah we didn't get arrested paid three thousand dollars in fines though um that wasn't too handy so anyway yep good little truck great trailer so that's going to be a trailer pack uh, three trailers i believe that's what we're going to have and there are all kinds of details and options on these trailers pretty phenomenal and uh, the truck's looking really good too so get this skin finished up i'll get it up on steam and uh, look on the discord for contest rules to win the trailer pack and um, as always appreciate tech out of you guys if you didn't see the little notifications here in there to subscribe and like and things like that give it a give it a thought <laughs> and uh, it can't hurt to uh, get the videos out in front of more people and uh, that's how we grow take care guys catch you on the next one and bye for now.